Chica's portal. Um, I, in the first place, we have two presentations. Uh, the first is by me and the second by Lena Steiner. And in, my, in the first presentation, I would go into detail about the general idea of this Chica's portal. And uh, we did a community survey, and I will show some of the results. Um, what is the idea? Um, the, the Chico's portal the idea is not, not new. It, uh, it, uh, the first idea was in 2007, and uh, this uh, statement uh, uh, was uh, posted. Uh, so the Chico's portal should be a unique access point for all data, products, and information relevant in the framework of Chico's for earth science and applications. And uh, therefore, this graphic was also produced. Uh, now there the, are so a lot of services and projects uh, within the IAG. Uh, and uh, components which produce data and products. Um, but for some users, especially for these users which are not so familiar with Geodesy, uh, they have problems to find the data. And uh, the Chigus portal should serve there as a one-stop shop for the data and products uh, within the IIG and beyond, uh, maybe. Uh, and very important to know is also that the Chico's portal don't have the data, it's only have the metadata, which makes it easily to find uh, the original data. Then, so you can shop there and uh, for your um, uh, data and products of interest, and then you're uh, directed to the uh, original uh, data center or uh, a service website. Um, yes. At the chigos.org uh, website, uh, we also uh, um, uh, made an a information website or page there um, to give an introduction uh, about the Chigos portal, the metadata, and the UI in, in Geodesy, and also the history. Um, I would go a little bit detail in the history. Um, the first idea, I've mentioned it already, was in 2007 at the Unified Analysis Workshop. and it was uh, produced a first prototype by the PKG, uh, Bernd Richter and uh, the colleagues. Um, but unfortunately, the development was stopped in 2012. And uh, in 2020, uh, I've presented it in the last uh, session, we built up a new or developed a new Chicos uh, website and also integrated there this Chicos information platform with easy understandable descriptions. And that is one part of the this idea which was uh, created in 2007 to make an, create also an information portal. And now it's, uh, it's up to us to uh, combine it, to combine this description portal with this Chicos portal uh, providing these metadata. And, in uh, 2022, um, we revived the idea of the, G the, the metadata portal. And for this, uh, we have uh, conducted the community survey in 2023 and also the feasibility study this year. Yes, and I want to go in a little bit more detail in the community survey. Uh, so the duration was from March to April this year. And we... Uh, the objective was to get an overview about uh, the geodetic data usage um, of the user, the producer, and the provider, um, and also the provision of metadata and DOIs for geodetic data, so what is still available and what are the interests of, of these groups, and um, also the opinions about the Chico's portal, what are the needed functions. And Yes, uh, Lena also uh, um, analyzed this uh, uh, survey, and uh, we put all the, the outcomes uh, in one document. And would, this is available here with this uh, DOI, uh, but it, you can access it uh, via this uh, chigus.org uh, portal website also. So altogether, we have seen this graphic already, also by Claudia. Um, See, she, she mentioned also that a lot of South American people participate. That's it's, it's, uh, very good news that it's really worldwide spread and a lot of people um, participated there. So from 57 countries altogether and uh, 195 participants. So it was a real success. And 
we also ask the, the users in which area they are working. Um, majority is, of course, from Geodesy, but also you can see here a list uh, of on the left hand side uh, of other disciplines they come from. And the majority comes also from universities and, uh, and government geodetic agencies. Um, it was also interesting that uh, only the half of the people um, are from the IRG. Sorry for this problems in the on the right side. Uh, and the other half uh, don't have any connections with the IRGs. What also was also a little bit surprising for me. And you can see also the contributions uh, within the IRG of the different IRG components. So the majority comes from the IRG services. Um, I would like to go a little bit more detail uh, about the user groups. We have um, one third is, is uh, only users, uh, one third are producers, and uh, one third of the participants are providers. Um, from the user perspective, um, the, the majority use geodetic data for positioning and navigation and generating also further geodetic products uh, and so on. You can see it here. And uh, it's also used, um, the, the, the geodetic data is also used very often. Um, it was the outcome from the user perspective. More interesting is uh, also for the uh, producer perspective. Um, the majority of produce GNSS and gravimetry data um, from the, the kind of products. Uh, and the half of the producers, they participated here in the survey, are uh, producing the geodetic products and the other half uh, observation data. Um, yes, on the provider side, the most important for the, for the GIGAS portal uh, to integrate it. Uh, is was the question, are they interested to publishing their data at the GIGAS portal? And 43 said yes, and 49 maybe. So the, the majority, of course, uh, wants to participate. Um, and we also asked their, I'm sorry for this. Yeah, I will go, sorry. <laughs> I think it's better. So, sorry. Um, from the metadata side, um, we ask also, is metadata already available for the data and products? And 48% said yes. Uh, 52 no, but they said no. Uh, the people they said no uh, want to create it in future. So there's, there's a highly interest in, in providing this metadata. And also we asked this uh, for the DUIs and also, on, there are not so many uh, data provider uh, providing also the DOIs. Maybe uh, with this uh, recommendations uh, generated by the DOI working group, maybe this is getting better and getting more people or more provider providing also the DOIs. But also they are not providing it, want to create it, but also they sometimes mentions that recommendations are missing. And yes, we are working on this. Um, Yes, then uh, a few results also from the uh, survey. Um, I don't want to go into detail in, in each of these graphics. I want to uh, figure out these uh, outcomes. Um, one question was uh, which kind of uh, data should be provided? Um, yes, mainly IRG data or IRG related data should be provided there. And there was also a comment by one participant, uh, which I totally agree. Uh, focus on one type of data and do it extremely well. Bad portals try to do too much. So <laughs> that's very important. And that's also that what we want to do in the future on the, to, to provide a few, to, to integrate a few uh, uh, parts of um, geodetic data and products and do that good and, and do that step by step and integrate, um, integrate more. Um, Yes, and what's the question about the search possibilities? And yes, this spatial and temporal, sort, uh, temporal selection of the data is very appreciated. And from the important features for the future GIGAS portal, um, it should be uh, should also show these understand these easy understandable descriptions, which I also mentioned, which is very good to combine these the metadata portal and these descriptions in future. And it should be user-friendly. 
Um, then one question was also, uh, should the metadata which is provided at the GIGIS portal should be harmonized or the original where we did that metadata? And uh, the majority says that harmonized metadata is more appreciated. And I also think it's, it's better to have only uh, uh, fixed uh, defined um, uh, metadata and, and not too much and then link to the uh, original data center and, and the services. Yes, then the, the challenge is, is, of course, once um, the use of randomness, but we could do this with, with the software, it's explained later. Um, but one big challenge, of course, is encourage the data providers uh, to create the metadata, the UIs that we can integrate. Um, this is, of course, a very big uh, challenge, uh, but we also think about providing uh, a GIGOS portal with a few but good uh, data and products, uh, which can more encourage also the other uh, um, data provider to, to do that in the same way. And of course, we also want to um, help and support uh, the data provider uh, to do it in the right way. Um, and for this, how that can be, in, in general realized, um, we um, have done a feasibility study, um, which is presented uh, in the next presentation by Lena Steiner. So how can that be realized? Uh, what is needed from the data providers? And uh, which software can we use? Uh, um, yes, that she uh, uh, studied and, and will present in the next presentation. Okay, thank you for this and...